Hello everyone, Tim Hillcove here with the Weekly Wine Journal. I'm here with a repeat guest, very special guest, Robert Craig. You guys might have heard of him before, a legendary Napa Valley wine producer. And uh, I featured him a number of years ago on uh, affordable Napa Valley cult wine, which usually that's not in the same sentence, but he is a cult-like figure, having uh, uh, helped uh, develop the Mount Veter AVA, is that correct? That's correct. And Hess? Hess Collection Winery, and I also did the uh, 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 Spring Mountain AVA. So two AVAs. Two, huh? yeah, two okay. Mountain AVAs. I don't think there's a lot of people that can say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you've actually, so 30, this is your 35th yeah. year in the, in the business, is yeah, that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I started in 1978. 35 years in in the vineyard business. In, well, in in the in the wine business, in I started business. in vineyards up on Mount Veter. Okay. When when I got into the wine business, in 1978, I headed right to the mountain because I really love mountain wines and I wanted to be part of that that you know that process. It's funny. Uh, I I liked uh, Valley Floor wines in, until I met you, <laughs> and now I, I anything above 1,500 feet. <laughs> Um, and now this is also well. 2012 was your 20th year of your own namesake wine, uh, Robert Craig. The wine, That's right? correct. Yeah. And unfortunately, I was not able to attend the big yeah, celebration. But I wish you could have been there. It was a really great party. <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, up on top of the mountain. On top of the mountain. Oh, yeah. Geez, yeah. yeah we me, had about 200 people. It was a really make, nice party. Make me feel. <laughs> make me feel bad about that. <laughs> good food. Good music. Good wine. Good time. Um, we were just talking earlier, and you said that the, the 2012 vintage looks very promising. Is that? Tell me more about that. Uh, well, actually, for the last three or four vintages, it's been fairly difficult in Half Valley. Uh, what we've experienced is it's been really sort of rainy and cold in, into the spring part of the year, when you know usually it warms up and we have you know we have bud break and then we have bloom and all that. That was all delayed over the last three or four years. So we had to really scramble. Uh, when you make mountain wines, you're generally making wines from cooler locations. So the grapes ripen later than most of the Napa Valley. In fact, pretty, pretty significantly later.